And so hello everyone, welcome back. We are going to continue our discussion on this uh, CHD multi-region simple form. Uh, in the last video, we were originally wanting to do change dictionary, but we ended up uh, trying to f debug the all run pre-script instead. Oops. Um, so what we found out is that uh, these curly braces don't really expand in a in the bash script unless you put in this uh, you put in this modifier first um, pound sign exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash so uh, that's something we should note in uh, in running our script so yeah not everything in the tutorial directory is uh, suitable for Ubuntu running all right so at least we know that uh, the reason for the bug is over here and not uh, inside all of this. So all this actually runs correctly. It is just uh, running it, a matter of running it like this in the bash. Okay. So, um, yeah, next, next thing we want to take note of is uh, region in foam run. Okay, change dictionary. Okay. So this is very interesting, uh, change dictionary. So uh, what, what is this script telling us? It says for region in formless regions, which will uh, help us to get all the formless regions, for example, solid, uh, the, the left solid, the right solid, the heater, the air, or top air, bottom air. So it's going to go through, it's going to cycle through all these uh, things, and it's going to store it in the variable called region. So it's going to cycle through all this. This is in the top air, bottom air, blah, 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 blah. It's going to put it in the variable region. So it's going to replace this, uh, the region uh, signs over here with the dollar region. You put it here. Then it's going to uh, put this modifier region. And you're going to put in the top air, bottom air, heater, everything here. So what happens is that uh, we have a change dictionary bottom air, change dictionary top air, heater left solid and right solid. Okay, let's take a look at the oops, sorry. Let's take a look at the change dictionary bottom air. All right. So let's see what it does. Um, and how do we execute it? Okay. So yeah. Anyway, the this uh, copy in the zero directory, I'm not going to repeat all the, the removal stuff. We already discussed that last video. So that's just for our understanding. Now, you take a look, change dictionary in this region called bottom air. So this is how it is being done. Okay. So we take a look at the script or run pre, take a look at the script, uh, run application and then we put uh, s here uh, s modifier uh, change dictionary okay so what does this s mean so let's take a look well uh, trying to search online using google looks a little difficult um, i don't see any any explanation on how this uh, run application is being run being done so let's let's do a little bit of trial and error instead. Always fun to do that. So we can we can do it here in the right hand side where we have the copy of the multi-region heater. We can copy all run pre into all run pre2. Okay. Let's uh, all run pre2 this. Okay, so I want to have the bash script, yes, so that we can remove everything correctly. We don't need to run topo set and everything like that. I'm gonna pound that out. Okay, and done. So, all right, let's let's do one without the S and see what happens. Okay, so let's see the lock the heater. 
oopsie clear vi log heater so we see that the command is not found okay so what open form uh, kind of takes a look at it's uh, let's see vi uh, all run pre and we can do an all clean first oh wait let's remove dash r log dot star yes we can do that so topo set log everything will be there all right perfect so all run pre two so if we if we do that we look at the run application it will assume that okay this is the um, region that you want to run so the first thing um, the script will see is this region for example the heater region so if we put run application the first word that comes up is heater the open form will think that oh heater is the application but it is not the application so we have to put the s modifier in to tell it to you know, uh, say that hey, this is not this is not actually what I'm wanting to run. I want to run change dictionary. I don't want to run the command heater. So that's that's first thing. So why not? Why not we just um, run change dictionary in this directory? Let's see what happens. I'll run pre two. Now, clear. All right. So, what what do we see here? It says that run is running change dictionary in home blah 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 blah, and then this thing it says change dictionary is already run. So please remove the log file, log not change dictionary to rerun. So let's see what the log change dictionary is talking about. So the first thing that comes is the region bottom app. Now. As we know, we run, we've done all run files before. If we did the, um, the all run files, uh, um, and we try to run this, uh, let's say we want to run piezo form or buoyant pimple form. If we've run buoyant pimple form before, and we want to run it again, then the thing is that open form will see, hey, I have this log dot buoyant pimple form, or in this case whatever application you want and this is change dictionary so it says log dot change dictionary already exists why am i running this again so in order to circumvent that it seems as if we can do this we can do this we add the name modifier there then we put region we don't put a hashtag we put a dollar sign all right so when we do that I think this will be the thing called the suffix, right? S will be the suffix. So suffix will be this name, which is the region name, and then it will go to, let's say, the bottom air. So I'm not going to run that all clean yet. All right. So I'm going to have this log.change dictionary here, and I'm going to run all run pre two. So it's going to run change dictionary five times and you'll see the log not change dictionary here log not change dictionary bottom and blah 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 so suffix means you add um, a kind of a name over here so that your the output of your log is uh, done differently so um, let's see if we can be a bit mischievous uh, we will test this out with this all run pre file or rather I can do it all clean here right I'm gonna do an all clean and let's say we want to do this su suffix right in the block mesh so instead of that here I can do run application I can put a suffix here and I want to put a hey 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 um, I'm a kidding okay so that's the suffix 
And let's see what happens when we run the all run pre. And we need to take a look. It says block dot block mesh. Hey, 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 I'm a kidding. So we found out what the dash s actually does. Okay, so it adds a suffix to the log file that comes out. Perfect. All right. So now that we have uh, now that we have uh, figured out what this uh, dash s is doing, we can move on. Yeah, we can move on uh, to something else. All right. Okay, so um, yeah, we can get rid of this. Hey, hey, hey! I'm a kidding, and we can take a look at what change dictionary actually does now. So uh, we learn from how they uh, put this suffix here. So um, you can put a uh, lot dot change dictionary, then the region name will appear at the back. So this is all that this is doing. So change dictionary, and you want to do it for a specific region. And then you have this dollar sign region. What is this region? It will be bottom air, top air, blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, we can take a look at for, uh, this one. So change dictionary options. This is how the syntax is supposed to be. All right, uh, so we can take a look. So we can take a look at the dictionary file. Okay, so by default, we will have a change dictionary dict or change dictionary dictionary uh, in order to change the dictionary. All right, sounds confusing. I'm so sorry, but that's the that's the way OpenFOAM likes to do things. Okay, um, I think I can remove uh, star dot log. I don't want those there. Just I want to want a clean case and then see what we can do. All right, so um, we want to look at the change dictionary. So let's take a look at change dictionary on the left hand side. Uh, change dictionary bottom there. So what does change dictionary do? First thing it does is create time in, and then it starts creating mesh. So it's uh, reading the dictionary change dictionary dict with replacements for dictionaries 10, boundary, blah, 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 blah. Then it's loading the poly mesh to extract the patch names. Okay, so poly mesh boundary is basically what was constructed by, I think, I think the uh, block mesh, yeah. So that's, that's what was uh, used to construct this poly mesh. So it's loaded the dictionary boundary and it extracts the patch groups okay so it has to replace the boundary conditions there so let's see uh, what what these uh, conditions are okay so again let's do the all run free so we do uh, block mesh become block mesh Topo set goes to topo set dot log, and then I want to run change dictionary. Change dictionary uh, region heater. Change dictionary the heater dot log. This is how I gotta run it. Okay, so apparently there's something missing there. Okay, we need to restore zero directory and we need to run split mesh regions first. So CPAR zero dot original into zero and uh, split mesh regions cell zones. Overwrite and it goes into split mesh regions dot log. Okay, 
now we can do the uh, change dictionary so let's go scroll back through some other commands and now it should be able to run correctly change dictionary heater change dictionary heater.log and that we have there okay all right so let's let's go to zero and let's see what's inside the heater all right so we'll have all of this okay heater to top air heater to right solid heater to left solid blah 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 and then now we have all these uh, compressible turbulent car baffle mix everything over here okay so where is this uh, change dictionary and okay let's take a look at the bottom air and we go and see the temperature you see that the boundary fields are pretty they all have this calculator blah 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 now let's do a change dictionary for the bottom air and see what happens let's do a change dictionary I want to do a bottom air let me take a look at the temperature boundary conditions and see what's going on bottom air yeah let's see zero and let's take a look at bottom air that's VI temperature see so now we see that a few of these were actually changed for example the compressible turbulent uh, radiant couple mixture blah 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 all of this were changed so the boundary conditions were changed using change dictionary clear and let's see let's see uh, where we get the um, dictionary for that so we can look at constant we can try and look at the bottom end well, what do we have we have boundary radiation properties, radiation properties, blah, 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 blah. But change dictionary, dictionary is not there. So we need to make sure. I mean, it looks like it's in the system folder, right? So we have system folder with all of these uh, set up here. So let's go to heater, for example, or look at bottom air, since we were doing a test on it just now. And basically, change dictionary dict is over here. So let's open this up, and we see what is being done here. So, for example, the boundary. Okay, for example, min x. Okay, min x is type wall. Max x is also type wall. Okay. All right. Um, and then we have this syntax over here. We have a dot and a star. Whatever is having a dot and star inside will also be categorized like this. And what we were looking at is a temperature. So for example, um, the temperature, see? You see the internal field is uniform 300. So we have, so what it does is to replace the internal field with a uniform 300. And the boundary field is as follows. Whatever it's a dot and star, it's changed to a zero gradient. So let's see on this side, since the, on, on the left hand side, since this is a, um, Okay, let's do an all run pre. Oh, okay, let me do all clean first. All run pre. CD0. Okay, now all the things are there. Um, let's see. Oh, well, we want to see the bottom air, right? This is exactly the same. Okay. Take a look. The internal field now is uniform 300. So that's a before and after comparison. And then we have a boundary field. Okay, the boundary field. Okay. All of this uh, is a zero gradient. So nothing really change changes there.
So what this dot and star means that okay, uh, everything is changed to zero gradient first. That's likely the case. Whatever it is is changed to zero gradient, and the value is uniform at three hundred. So that's what it. That's how the code runs. So internal field first. Then every of these entries is now changed to zero gradient with a uniform value of 300. I don't know how that works, uh, why there's a value at the zero gradient since there's nothing to specify there. But um, after that, this code is executed. It says bottom air to whatever. So for example, bottom air to right solid, that's one of them. Because this uh, dot and star is a wild card. And basically, whatever comes after this text called bottom air underscore uh, underscore two underscore. So it's written like this bottom air underscore two underscore, and then it's right solid, left solid, heater, etc. etc. All of the text here is replaced by this. So uh, the type is compressible, blah 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 blah. T compressible turbulent temperature rate red coupled mixed. The value is uniform, 300, as was uh, over here. I mean, you don't have to put it in the, the uh, proper... Um, you don't have to put it in the proper uh, order. It will still be the same thing. Okay, so we have a... Uh, we take a look at this. The next thing, T number or TNBR, it's uh, T. Uh, kappa method is fluid thermal, and then that is reflected here. Q number, QR number, or QR and BR is none. And QR is QR, whatever that is. Um, that's also reflected here. And the value is uniform 300, as reflected here. All right, so um, basically, change dictionary helps us to uh, have a systematic way of uh, modifying boundary conditions so instead of uh, if you are if you are going to do this split mesh regions first and then you want to uh, script in the changing of boundary conditions you can use this uh, change dictionary uh, to kind of uh, write in your boundary conditions as you want of course the syntax will take some time to learn but this is way faster than doing it manually one at a time so good thing there are scripts around all right, so let's recap, all right? Okay, this was an old homework thing. Honestly, I don't think it's a homework thing. It was probably an open form presentation, but okay. First thing first, in uh, CHT multi-region form, or simple form, we have a mesh preparation. We have region prep. We need to prepare the multiple regions, right? So first thing we need to do is mesh generation generation and for that we have block mesh right block mesh then we have region region definition so we need to define our regions so what we have is topo set to get the cell zones then we have split mesh regions according to those cell zones okay so that will split it up into the various patches and then now we have to write the proper boundary condition since uh, write proper boundary conditions after splitting the mesh and that can be very very tedious if you were to do it manually so we use change dictionary all right so at least at least the all run pre file now we kind of understand what's going on right now we kind of understand what's going on and where we are supposed to put all the dictionaries if you forget, you can always look back at the tutorial file. But uh, this is how uh, the code is structured. Right? So the code is structured to do this, to prepare the boundary uh, conditions. So we have run it one at a time. So it, I'm not going to actually run it for all of them because it's kind of waste, wasting time. I can do top air, bottom air, heater, all of this and each of the change dictionaries will need to be present in the system folder under that uh, specific region. So that's how you're supposed to put your input files. All right. Um, of course, probably 
a few videos down the road, we might want to discuss how to use change dictionary properly, but we we'll just want to run through the steps first of how you know this uh, CHD multi region simple form case is run. So then we can learn the we can see how the thought process and what the what the programmers are thinking. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Um, and probably what we want to do, since we have uh, we have done we are done with the all run pre, we've explained every single step here and what it does. And um, of course the for loops are there, and the syntax is a um, it's a described in that script. So let's do all run without the parallel. So okay. So in the next video, uh, we want to discuss whatever is done after the all run pre. So you can see in the all run file, the all run pre is being run first. What we have discussed in the last I think four or five or three to four, I can't remember how many videos there are. And then we do we see this for loop. Okay, so it's going to run this application called face agglomeration. I have no idea what that is. It says agglomerate the patch faces. Okay, so this looks pretty important. Next thing is a view factor generator for radiation. And then we have uh, run a CHT multi region simple form. Okay. So okay, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. We will discuss more, or we will attempt to discuss more of this um, in future videos, especially the radiation stuff. It's pretty interesting. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.